Hello, so we're back and this time we have a customer battery to repair. Now this is a HP uh, HT03XL. Now what I'm charging for repairing a battery is £25. So how can I charge £25 to repair a second-hand battery if a brand new one is like £20? And the answer is actually very simple. Now all those batteries what you see here are copies. And you can consider yourself lucky if you if the battery is working actually under the, the three months you have to give warranty to the customer. Our original battery, a genuine battery, is like sixty pound, and this is cheap. If you have like Dell or something else, it's it's more expensive. I'm just trying to make you understand how this market with uh, batteries are uh, it's working. Now let me grab the NLBA and let's analyze the battery and see what's wrong with this battery. Now we have the NLB device here, let's connect some wires, we need plus, minus and uh, clock and data. So plus is on this side, let me zoom a little bit, so that's plus. Okay, that's minus, and clock and data we have to find uh, together. Now let me open the program, I will power on the voltage on the wires, I'll uh, press start reading and now we have to search for the clock and data with the uh, yellow and green wire oh, I was lucky I was lucky so what do we know about the battery? for me the battery looks good I mean, it's saying it's unlocked and it's balanced now I'm curious if the battery is unlocked and balanced, yeah? Read the capacity. Actually, the battery is fully charged. Health of the battery. This battery is like new. Uh, I'm curious if I, can, if I can charge the battery. Let's try to charge the battery. So start charging. Now check here, yeah? So we start charging, right? The battery is unlocked and good. You can see the charging current here is zero. Let's try to discharge the battery. Start discharging. Same, we have to pay attention on the current. Discharging is selected. Discharging the battery and... Condition state of charge reach does mean uh, the battery is detected as uh, fully discharged. Let's try one more time. I I uh, tick the uh, ignore um, SOC state of charge, and again I get an error. Condition minimal cell voltage reached. So th this is strange. I mean, you see. So once the battery is good, the battery is fully charged. The battery health is fantastic, but you cannot charge and discharge the battery. Okay, let me try a trick here. Yeah? It's not saying, because it's saying it's unlocked, yeah? But let me try a trick. So what I'm going to try... Maybe need the enable pin. Let's see. So the enable pin can be here. Let's see if this it will do the job. No, still not charging. Let's move the wire here. No, nothing. There's my, is no point moving the wire. Okay, so how we can fix uh, this battery? You know what? Here, either the fuse is blow up, you know, the internal fuse, or the battery has a firmware error. Let's try to fix the error, because that's easy. Let's go to reset. Wrong battery communication. Okay, let's power on. And let's try one more time. Okay, now it's fine. Next. Next. I want to read the EEPROM. Let's 
just in case, you know. Look at the battery cycle. It has 24 cycles. Okay, let's save the let's save the EEPROM. And now let's try to uh, read chip info. You see, uh, we read the chip, and you see you see the what he's saying on the battery. So check that, yeah. So we read the we read the status. He's saying uh, the charge fat and the discharge fat is active. That means this battery should work. I can't see any error here, but let's try. You know, for uh, let's try to unseal and uh, clear the errors. Maybe that it will fix the problem. If not, we have to we have to open the battery and check the internal fuse. Clear chip errors. The battery same is good. Now let's seal back the battery. Good. And end. Let's try one more time. Power off. Let's go to the charge tab. Let's try one more time. Charge and it's still not charging. You can see. Nothing. Let's read one more time the battery, and we cannot read it. We have to push some voltage onto the battery. You see, this is a strange battery. He's saying it's unlocked. He's saying the capacity is nearly like fully charged. He's saying the health of the battery is like nearly full. Because I seen people there saying, okay, if a battery is dead, it's no worth to be repaired because it's a, you know, like a hazard. It's if it's gone, it's gone. Check here this battery. So this battery has 24 cycles. You can see here, 24 cycles. So this is not a bad battery. It is. This is a dead battery, but not a bad one. So I will say, let's try to have a look inside. And check the fuse. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Why the fuse blow up? You know what? That fuse can blow up from any reason, even a, a firmware error. Like, you know, you have a BQ chip, somehow it's getting frozen, the fuse it will blow up. Uh, too much current into the battery? Probably it will not blow up for too much current because uh, the MOSFET it will disconnect the power. High temperature, that can be a reason why uh, that fuse can be can be burned. So what is the board? How we can get in to the battery? Let's right here a small incision. Good. And we have access to the board. Now check here, you can see the fat. Yeah, you have one FET here and one here, MOSFETs. And here, I believe, probably is the fuse. But let's check together. Or it's not the fuse. No, the fuse is here, probably. Here is probably the BQ chip, right? Yeah. Yeah, there is the BQ chip. Let's have a look at the fuse. This is an interesting battery, so I cannot see a fuse. I can see this thingy. You know what? I don't think this actually is a genuine battery, but can be. I'm not sure. I mean, we have a sticker with HP, possible to be genuine, but I cannot see a uh, heated fuse. That's how it's called, heated fuse. Fuse is they, they have a heater. Wait, here was a component or uh, you know for me it's looking like here was something you can see I mean I can see clearly the the shape of the solder 
So here it was a component. What component? Can be a diode. Check here. Yeah. Can be a diode. Here we have the BQ chip. Now, what that component is doing? Hmm? We have no idea what it's doing. Okay, let's check some voltages. So here we have 12 volts. Here, yeah? from the other side of the battery till here, we have 12, and here we have 12. Okay, on the input of this MOSFET, we have 12. On the output, we have. Then we have 12, 12.3 12 and here 12.7. See something wrong with this MOSFET. And here we have on the gate 5 volts. Huh. Okay, let's see this MOSFET. So this MOSFET we have 12.3 and on the output we have 0. Why we have 0? Because on the gate, we have nothing, zero. Okay, so what is this component? So here we have zero, and here we have 4.6. Which makes me believe, actually, this is the gate. Here we have 4.5. A9 volts. And here we have zero. Let's try a diode, because I believe here it was a diode. That's what I believe. Actually, we can uh, check a few things. Let's check for where this is coming. So this is coming from this resistor. So check here, yeah? It's coming from here, yeah? So this is plus, I believe. It must be plus. I don't know, plus, minus, doesn't matter. Yeah, it's one side of the battery. It's coming here probably is plus because it's passing the diode so after it's passing the diode where is going and I can bet with you it's going straight to the BQ chip because this diode it will provide power to the BQ chip but let's check together so we have the probe there let's try to beep that probe with uh, with the BQ chip here you can see so it's beeping from that diode here to this capacitor so now you understand why I have to push power from the NLBA in order to speak with the chip. Because the BQ chip doesn't have voltage. So indeed, here, it was a diode. Okay, let's try to find a diode. This diode is supplying power to the BQ chip. Let's try to find a diode. The plus is... Okay, okay. Let me grab the solar iron. LOL, check there, check there, I mean check there, check, what is there? What is there? You know what, I was thinking now, you know, wait, but where is the original diode if di this diode somehow fell down? Check here. So this is the diode which I disordered from that board, and this is the original diode. Yeah. So probably the laptop, it was dropped, and this diode just fell off from the... From the board. I mean, this is crazy. Now, let's see, this diet will fell uh, down again. Ah, uh, what do you think? So the question is, yeah, but it's working or not? Let's check. Let's check together. So we have plus and minus. Plus and minus, plus. Minus. 
minus. And we have green and red, right? A green and yellow. And if I remember, the green was here, right? Let's see. Start reading. Let's power off the NLBA. Reading all. And now I can read the battery without uh, pushing the power button. When you push the power button, Actually, the NLBA, NLBA it will supply voltage to the to the battery. Okay, what about charging? It is charging. Let's see. Start charging. Check the current. Check the current. Check the current. Huh? Check the current. You can see the current is going up. You can see the blue line from the screen. So the battery is charging fine. Okay. Let's try and discharge the battery. Start discharging. Yeah, pay attention on the current. You can see the current is going up because we are discharging the battery. You can see the, the blue line. So now the battery is fully working. And indeed, it is unlocked as a good capacity and good health. And also only 24 cycles. Yeah. So what do you think about this? Like how I said, you know, a dead battery doesn't mean, okay, the battery it's used. The battery has a thousand cycles and the cells are used and there yeah, is no point doing something. No. Actually, most of the time I found actually it's, it's a different fault. It's not like used cell. Actually, I found no battery with used cells. I mean, even if it has like 20%, it's still good. It still can be used for a while. Good, so this battery is repaired. Perfect, and it's still like new. It's still like new. Hmm? You can't even see it was repaired. I'm happy I helped the customer. Now something more, yeah, and I want to clarify this about this device, the NLBA device. Now, if you are looking to buy the device, the NLBA device, you can have a look on the website. I will leave a link on the description with the website. Uh, I am a supporter of this device. I mean, it, it's really very useful. Uh, I understand, you know, on the past video, on the comments, okay, this device is not for everyone. But now it depends of, uh, you know, how many batteries do you have? I mean, if you buy the license for like 10 years, it's like $99 per year, which, you know, it's, it's kind of affordable. Okay? Fantastic. If you buy anything from uh, the website, just use at the checkout, use uh, the coupon, Electronics Repair School, yeah? and you'll have a $10 discount, which it will allow me to buy a coffee and another coffee or maybe a beer. Okay, so I'm going to stop here. I'll say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one. Bye.